A team of nuclear energy experts in Japan is set to launch their own investigation of last year's accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The Atomic Energy Society of Japan set up a committee of 40 specialists from universities and research institutes across the country. The panel's mandate is to pinpoint why the accident happened. Officials from the government and Tokyo Electric Power Company will be interviewed as part of the investigation. Committee members say they will issue a report by December 2013. We will also reevaluate the Atomic Energy Society itself and figure out why it failed to prevent the accident. We will reform it if necessary. But the new team is coming up against some criticism. Its experts are all from the same society, and their first meeting was held behind closed doors. But the new team is coming up against some criticism. Its experts are all from the same society, and their first meeting was held behind closed doors. Panels set up by the Diet and the government have already released reports, but many questions remain unanswered. Japan's national policy minister says he wants to take nuclear power out of the government's new energy policy. I'd like to see zero dependence on nuclear power generation. My views are in line with many other Japanese who say the government should create a society without nuclear energy. Motohisa Furukawa says he will set up a panel of experts to analyze data from public hearings held across Japan this summer. People who attended the forums debated the energy sources the country should rely on in the future. The minister says the government needs to wake up to reality and focus on how to bring the pre-disaster 26% dependence on nuclear down to zero.
Australian health authorities have scored a win over big tobacco. The high court has upheld the world's strictest cigarette packaging law. From December, tobacco products can only be sold in boxes without logos. The new rules ban tobacco companies from displaying any logo or color on any product for sale in Australia. The new packs are ugly, and that's the point. They are meant to take some of the glamour out of smoking. Australia's Attorney General applauded the court decision, which was being closely watched around the world. I'm very proud that it means that many other countries around the world, many others who are fighting for tobacco control and what's the next appropriate step in their country, will take heart from the success of this uh, decision today and also, of course, the successful implementation to come. Australian health officials expect the new packs will discourage young smoker and reduce heart disease and stroke. They are also counting on lower medical costs. Australia has long been strict on smoking. Cigarette prices are some of the world highest and the display of tobacco in stores is restricted. But one cigarette seller in Sydney says the law goes too far. She's worried it will ruin her business. Um, I'm not very happy with it. It takes away the customer's choice. It takes away their ability to make sure that they're getting the product that they've asked for. As the new law moved through the legal system, it met united opposition from four of the world's biggest tobacco companies, including Philip Morris and Japan Tobacco. They said the law violates consumer rights and their intellectual property. A Japan Tobacco official says the firm will carefully examine the court summary in regard to its future business. A study released Tuesday by researchers at Tokyo Electric Power Company's School of Psychology has found that the simple act of pretending one's life is not a complete shambles threatening to collapse at any moment works, even when everything is coming apart at the seams and disaster is almost certainly imminent. Putting up a good front for friends and loved ones makes everything better, said the Japanese government, who explained that smiling a lot and evasive answers were usually enough to get by. Tell everyone that things are fine and they will be fine. Just don't overthink it. When asked about the study's methodology, Japan's environment minister said the research was rock solid had been looked over by a bunch of scientists and definitely wasn't anything to worry about. For a second opinion, contact Miss Milky the Clown.